Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. I kind of uh, went into the file, our folder, and I made a little backup of our, uh, of our map because I'm going to be changing it a little bit just to test this um, window or view bounds. Uh, thing that we're working with so if the view goes outside of the world bounds Then it's gonna stop and that's exactly what's happening and if it's uh, that means if it's below zero in either of the X or Y directions or above the world's maximum size uh, in the left or right X or Y axis Now that's all great if the map size is larger than the view because if the view is smaller than uh, than the world no if the world is smaller than the view sorry then it's gonna flip out because it's gonna go ahead and try to do all of these things and and kind of just mess about and jitter and stuff like that we don't want that to happen so we want a little check we want to make sure the view if this view dot get size dot x so I divided these two up right this is for the x-axis this is for the y-axis so I'm gonna make two if statement so if this view that get size y is larger or equal to this tile map get max size f dot x okay like that so if that is true if that is the case then we're going to just go ahead and execute all of those or check for all of the rest here Otherwise, it won't. Otherwise, it's just going to leave it alone. And the same thing here. The only thing you need to do is just change these to Y. And go ahead at the bottom and just end that if statement. And there you go. You're pretty much good to go. And I did try this out. It's just that I had to walk very far out to the right. Uh, what you can do is if you want to try it out for yourself, you can print the center of the view to see where you are and then make sure that when you reach the end that it stops okay in either the y or the x axis but this should work only if it's larger or equal to if it's less than it will just ignore this so to test this out what we're going to do is first of all we're just going to load the map up and remember i made a back of the of the map because i don't want it disappearing on me once i do so now this isn't really this isn't really working. Okay, I, I just did it the wrong way around. Wait, it should be smaller than. I'm sorry. It should be smaller than. Uh, if the world size is... Actually, it should be the other way around. You know what? It should be on this side. Just so it makes more sense. So if the world is larger than the size of the view, that's when this will happen. So, like that. That's what you want to do. Sorry about that. Sorry, you're going to have to switch some stuff around like this. Uh, like that and now it should work for you just fine let's try that out and then we're just gonna hop into the editor so now that is working it's no problems it should work for the uh, right as well pretty sure about that so I'm not gonna test it uh, let's just go ahead in here remember I made a little backup all right now wait before we do that we need to go into the editor state and we need to say that the map that we're creating isn't gonna be larger than the view okay so we're gonna make a really small imagine this being a little dungeon uh dungeon type room or something just a really tiny room maybe you're making a little house level or something like that uh, and then we just want to go down to wherever you initialize the tile map we're just going to give it 10 10 so that's pretty big anyway that's uh that's 640 by 640 pixels so if we just run this <clears throat> And then go into the editor. We're going to see that we can't place any tiles outside of these bounds, right? And now it's flipping out because I didn't lock it. So I'm going to lock it. Remember, we have a lock now, a tile lock, uh, which is going to bug out on me because I don't do the correct checks. We'll fix that later. You know what? Let's just ignore that. Go into the editor. Let's make a little map. Uh, just make sure we are all the way outside of the bounds here. It's, the, it's not that important. The important part is that 
we check the view later on. That's what we want to do. So I think if I turn the lock on now, it shouldn't be a little any problem here. There we go. I'm just going to make this beautiful little square here for myself. All right. No, wait, hold on. Uh, I kind of messed that up. Okay. There we go. All right, that's better. Now, once that's done, I'm going to turn the lock off so I don't bug out. And I'm just going to do this. Okay, so I found a problem. The thing is, in the game state, we're initializing the tile map to be 100 100, no matter what it is uh, in the text file, right? In the save file. So the size is always going to be 100 100, no matter what we do, because we're not setting or the the uh, the size is going to change sorry but the max world size for the float value which we're using it's never changing when we load the map so you need to copy this all right you need to make sure all of these are set so layers and texture file everything let's go down to load map in tilemap.cpp right here and just make sure those are set so layers are set for example texture file is set all that's remaining is this um and we have a grid size, which is a float. Grid size float. And max size. Okay, size. Size.x. Size.y. All right, and you can basically just static cast the result of these, and you should get the correct value. So once you implement that, Go back to your game state and just make sure this, because this, I mean, you can initialize a map to be any size you want. All right. And you can just make sure that this is the size you want, or you could just fix this problem in the load from file. Right. So, and another thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure load from file um, is like a constructor. So we can, or make another constructor that can just load from a file. Okay, that's probably what we want to do in the future. So probably in the next video, we're going to do that. But anyway, uh, if we get back to what we're doing, uh, let's go back to game state and to where we're updating the view. So I was printing out the values just to make sure. And this is how I figured it out. If I run this, we'll see the values are correct now. This should be 6,000 or 640, not 6,400, which I was looking at before. So now it's correct. So now it's not applying this whole world problem thing, right? Or the world uh, limit thing. So you can just walk around, you can move around. But on the other hand, if I went in here and I removed my text.slmp and I just removed this backup here from text.slmp right here from the backup um, map that I had and I just run the new game, it will now correctly limit the view. Uh, and just make the game run as as it should so there you go guys and girls that's pretty much it uh we had a few problems along the way but we figured them out uh and it feels all right it feels good it seems it's like it's working so i'm just gonna remove this completely and there you go so make sure to print values out if you're having problems make sure to think around the problem see what's happening and that will really help you out and in the next video, we're going to go ahead and just fix that tile map thing. Uh, so we have a constructor which can load from file. And that should be that should be just fine. Uh, pretty much all we have to do is just make a constructor that takes a file name. And then we'll just call load from file from that. Because it pretty much sets everything in here anyway. So that's a pretty good thing. Uh, but there you go. Thank you so much for the support. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.